Hello there, Dan the Weatherman here. Hey, welcome to my weather show, taking a look at the weather across New Zealand for the week. It's a blustery week, heading back to work, perhaps after the school holidays. Hang on to your hats as well, with quite a stream of weather coming out of the Southern Ocean, real kick to it as well. And watch out for Monday. Monday's going to be a virile, yuck sort of day. That's your main zone of wet weather on the main front. The streamline showing the tightly packed stuff, the energy, and further troughs to rotate in. The tilt bringing some colder air from the Southern Ocean. But Monday, as I say, is a bit of a yuck sort of day. Watch out for this main frontal boundary here. Heavy rain moves in, strong to severe goes. You can see that squeeze there. It's the blocking high. As it moves in, that creates a zone of strong winds. And these could be quite squally to some of the western coasts. Sometimes we see those little uh, vortices, maybe even some small funnels. Watch out for those as that comes through in the early hours to the middle part of the day. Next batch here, snow line, the blue line, about a thousand meters. So this does have some colder air in it, but nothing really cold. It'll probably kick the snow level down at eight, nine hundred meters going into Tuesday, into Wednesday. Wednesday is the quieter day, if you can believe it. There'll be less in the way of showers. The high stays to our north, then Thursday, a new front comes in. But the highs are trying to squeeze the bottom of this system. So as they do, this low will then cut off. This may change, of course. By the end of the week, it could sit there, putting an easterly in spells of rain to the north of the country, whereas down south, that second uh, spell of some wet weather coming in could fade away. So the end of the week might turn out drier with, again, that pretty decent-sized blocking high. Wind is a big story this week. These are these gusts of wind. Where you see red to purple, those are strong to severe gales. There's plenty of them particularly on this main front as you run through probably the uh, middle of Monday. Watch out for those strong or severe gales. And some squally winds, as I've mentioned, some western coast. That's the first front there. See how that goes through. It's going to be a windy Tuesday going west-southwest. We lose the red. That's still maybe a lighter breeze for Wednesday. And we're back into it already for Thursday. That's the next system. And remember, it's going to cut off. It's like all the way it goes, so it takes a stronger winds with it, but you could go back into easterlies across to the north of the country for the end of the week. And then, yeah, there's plenty more. That's the next system to roll in probably by uh, later next weekend or so. Monday looks like this. Hang on to your hats, spell of rain, heavy at times. This could easily be over 100 millimeters to the west coast. Bear it in mind, of course, Westport and much of Buller. Yeah, you don't need it. You could be seeing 30 to 80 millimeters of rain. Strong and severe gales on that zone of wet weather to track its way through. And remember as well the colder air, that's the snow level of a thousand meters. So in some of these over the passes down south going into Tuesday, there could perhaps be a, a little bit of a dusting of some snow, a snow level eight, nine hundred meters. But Tuesday is an improving day. The zone of wind has gone through. And overall, I think Wednesday is your pick of the week. Not that it's much of a pick because the really fine weather stays north. We'll still have blustery showers to some western coast. Not as windy for Wednesday. By the time we go to Thursday, eastern areas are looking fine. Western areas get ready for that next batch of rain to probably come in by the end of the day. And temperatures in that western northwest flow are looking pretty decent overall. Where we should be, maybe a touch warmer to eastern areas. Friday, we bring that wet weather in by the end of the day. But notice, it's still trying to come in because it's hitting the block and we've of course got high pressure squeezing. So it's squeezing away the bottom and that means by probably the weekend, it will start drying out and becoming more bitty, the rain across the South Island. We could get a zone of wet weather setting up across the north of the country in towards next weekend. But of course, this could change a few days away. We will see how it goes. But in one of these weeks where temperature-wise, there's a lot of orange on the map. That means warmer than normal. Notice where the orange is, a westerly flow. So that means down south, you're just about to be double figures for highs. Further north, 14 to about 17. But with a lot of orange, with a westerly flow, that also means eastern areas could be milder than normal. Notice some of that there, Gisborne, Christchurch. You could be two, three degrees warmer than normal. And there's no real cold air. See, it's trying to come in even by the next time we go to the end of the week. That cold air is coming in. Remember, the easterly sets up. So for a lot of us, temperatures close to normal. There'll be some frost down south, but all the really cold stuff stays south. And check out Australia. They'll be really baking again to the interior. Could be well into the 30s for them. Rainfall-wise, it's the west coast of the South Island where we have to watch. There are rain warnings, of course, parts of west and further north. 
as I say, parts of Western you could be looking at anywhere from 50 to 80 millimeters or so. Eastern areas, not as much. It's more than likely Wadalapa could be seeing the least amount with that west-northwest flow. And even northern parts of the North Island could be in for quite a chunk of rain as you run through the week. So that trip back to work could be a wet one. Hang on to your hats, but the weather is a bit up and down over the course of the week. That's the weather for now.